Hey, look at that bird in the sky. Is it a hawk? Or is it an eagle? If this sounds like you, don't worry. Many people struggle to tell the difference between a hawk and an eagle, and it's easy to see why. Here we want to clear that there is no distinct difference in their feathering, color, habitats, or distribution, although hawks are more widely distributed. Given that there exist more than 200 species of hawk and 60 species of eagle. So how can you differentiate between these two raptors? Stay tuned, in this video, we will discuss the six contrasting points between a hawk and an eagle. Before we talk about differences, let's dive into an overview of both hawks and eagles, so you can know about them a little bit more. Both belong to the family Accipitridae, which includes at least 12 different subfamilies, most of which include some hawk species, such as goshawks and sparrowhawks, with multiple species. While some individual species are widely distributed, such as the red-tailed hawk. Depending on the region, some birds go by different names, and this can lead to considerable confusion. For instance, some people call ospreys, fish hawks, while others refer to peregrine falcons as duck hawks. Although these names may still enjoy wide usage in some areas, neither ospreys nor falcons belong to the same family as hawks or eagles. In addition, hawks belong to the genus Buteo often go by the name buzzard in some areas, usually in Europe and Asia. While language exists to distinguish Buteonine hawks from true hawks, most distinctions are relatively arbitrary. Meanwhile, scientists usually group eagle species into one of four categories. These include fish eagles, booted eagles, snake eagles, and harpy eagles. The different groups exist to help researchers group separate birds together based on specific traits. For example, fish eagles typically eat a diet heavy in seafood, while snake eagles adapted to eat reptiles. On the other hand, booted eagles sport feathers on their eagles, and harpy eagles primarily live in tropical forests. Although they may seem minor, these classifications help scientists to compare and classify birds. In turn, comparisons give us a window into their lives and help conservationists to predict potential threats to the health of a particular bird population. Now let's discuss the first difference between hawks and eagles. Number 1. In truth, most scientists differentiate between these two raptors on their size. While some overlap exists, with large hawks measuring larger than small eagles, eagles usually represent the larger species. For instance, the tiny hawks of Central and South America weigh only around 2.5 to 4.4 ounces in measure, a mere 15 inches long at their smallest. Compare this to the largest hawk species, the ferruginous hawk. Females can grow up to 27 inches long and weigh nearly 4 pounds. That said, the average eagle measures as big or larger than the largest hawk. For instance, the Great Nicobar Serpent Eagle is one of the smallest known eagle species, weighing a little over 1 pound and measuring between 15 and 17 inches long. While small for an eagle, its measurements are average for a hawk. However, it would look tiny compared to some of the largest eagles. For example, Philippine eagles can measure up to 36 inches long, while stellar sea eagles can weigh nearly 21 pounds. Number 2. As carnivorous birds of prey, both hawks and eagles evolved powerful feet and sharp talons to catch, hold, and rip apart prey. However, eagles are typically stronger than hawks due to their larger size. One way to measure strength is through grip strength. While the talons of a red-tailed hawk exhibit a grip strength of 200 psi, this pales in comparison to the grips of bald and golden eagles. According to estimates, the grips of these giant eagles can reach up to 400 psi. Another way to measure strength would be to see how much a bird can carry. On average, most birds can carry objects up to their body weight, although some giant eagles and owls can carry objects up to three times their body weight. Given this rule, most hawks could only lift prey weighing around 4 pounds, while many eagles can lift up to 20 pounds. Number 3. Another difference between a hawk and an eagle is their wingspan. As with size, eagles typically sport more enormous wingspans than hawks. The little sparrowhawk ranks as one of if not the smallest hawk species. On average, their wingspan measures between 15 and 20 inches. Meanwhile, the wingspan of a ferruginous hawk can reach up to 60 inches. That said, the larger eagles possess wingspans almost double or triple the size of most hawk species. The Great Nicobar Serpent Eagle's wingspan measures at least 33 inches, 
while several species sport a wingspan between 6.5 to 7.5 feet. At their largest, they can measure over 8 or 9 feet, with the current record held by a female wedge-tailed eagle that recorded a wingspan of 9 feet, 4 inches long. Number 4. Although some differences exist between a hawk's diet and an eagle's, there are also many similarities. For instance, both species tend to prey on small mammals such as mice, rabbits, and squirrels and will also hunt smaller birds such as songbirds or woodpeckers. In addition, some hawk and eagle species adapted to hunt reptiles, such as snakes and lizards, while others evolved to hunt fish. That said, the main difference between their diets is that eagles can also hunt large mammals and birds, while hawks cannot. Some eagle species target large waterfowl, such as geese and ducks, while others pick off small deer or goats, particularly infants or juveniles. Number 5. It's a widely held belief that eagles and hawks both make screeching sounds. This belief likely comes from movies and television, which occasionally typically eagles crying out triumphantly while soaring through the sky. In reality, the vocalizations of a hawk versus eagle sound quite different, and the distinguishing features may surprise you. Most adult hawks make hoarse, screeching sounds that we associate with large birds of prey. On the other hand, many eagles tend to emit short, high-pitched chirps or piping sounds. Number 6. Another difference separating a hawk versus eagle concerns their nests and eggs. Most hawk species exclusively build their nests in high trees. Although some species lay as few as one to two eggs, many hawk species lay between three to five eggs at a time. On the other hand, eagles may build their nests in trees or on cliffsides. For example, bald eagles prefer to build their nests in trees, but golden eagles generally prefer to build their nests on cliffsides. In addition, due to their larger size, most eagles only lay one to two eggs at a time. Here is the table summary of the distinction points between hawks and eagles. You can pause the video and look at it if you want. Apart from this, you can watch these two videos if you want to know some fascinating facts about hawks and eagles.